Silspec 2000 polymer nosing system is a urethane header system used to repair or construct expansion joint headers in bridges or other similar type structures. It can be installed in either concrete or asphalt surfaced concrete decks. This video is to acquaint the installer with the various steps used for installation. In this video, we'll show the installation in a structure with a badly deteriorated expansion device. Mark the limits of the deteriorated concrete surrounding the expansion joint. Cuts should be in sound concrete surrounding the deteriorated areas for removal. Cut depth should be a minimum of one half inch. Make sure to keep the cut line straight and avoid making 90 degree interior corner cuts. The use of a handheld concrete saw is recommended for this type of repair. Using a jackhammer and chisel, remove deteriorated concrete from within the confines of the removal area. All deteriorated concrete should be removed to sound concrete substrate. Use compressed air to blow the block out and inspect for damage or further deterioration of the concrete substrate the header will bond to. Any such condition should be removed prior to sandblasting. It should be noted that the installer limit the size and weight of removal tool to minimize damage to sound concrete below or surrounding the repair. A maximum of a 30-pound hammer is recommended. All compressed air equipment should be equipped with traps to remove moisture and oil from the airstream. The bottom and sides of the blockout shall be sandblasted to remove all unsound concrete asphalt and debris from the concrete substrate, and the vertical edges of the blockout should be cleaned as well. Any steel encountered, such as armor angles or rebar, shall be sandblasted to white metal condition. Blow the blockout to remove sand, and clean the area immediately surrounding the joint. Inspect the blockout to ensure all contaminants have been removed and that no further deterioration was exposed during the cleaning operation. If deterioration is found, treat and re-clean as needed. Measure and cut the foam used to form the new joint opening. The form should be snug in the joint to prevent it being displaced during the installation of the Silspec 2000. Install the form and tape the edges of the blockout if desired. Silspec 2000 utilizes a primer to enhance bond to the substrate. Mix the primer as directed on the product data sheet and apply by brush, roller, or spray application. In all cases, puddling of the primer is not recommended and puddles should be brushed out. The bottom and sides of the blockout should receive a coat of primer. Do not prime the form. Allow the primer to dry or become tacky before proceeding with the installation. Use a low speed 600 RPM or less minimum one half inch heavy duty drill, a mixing paddle and mix tub for mixing the 2000 mortar for installation into the blockout. Silspec 2000 is a three component product consisting of a part A ISO activator, part B resin and part C aggregate. Vigorously shake the Part B jug for 30 seconds before pouring. Pour the contents into the mixing tub. To aid in emptying the jug, the top can can be cut off after pouring and the remaining resin can be scraped out with a spatula. Stir the resin for 30 seconds and then add the Part A ISO component. Stir a further 30 seconds, stop and scrape the sides of the tub and mix a further 30 seconds. This will ensure the liquid components are mixed correctly. Slowly add the first bag of component C to the tub and mix it. Then add the second bag and mix mortar till there are no pockets of dry sand in the mortar. This usually takes about a minute. Immediately begin placing the mixed mortar in the block out. The 2000 mortar is placed in a maximum of three inch lifts and each lift should be thoroughly compacted. The end of a short 2x4 is excellent for this purpose. Compacting consolidates the mortar and ensures it gets positive contact with the substrate. 
If installing one lift, immediately finish the mortar level with the surrounding deck surface. Utilize a straight edge to confirm elevation. Properly finished and compacted mortar will have a wet, shiny surface. Aggregate is visible, but the surface will be sealed. Once the desired surface is achieved, do not continue finishing the mortar. If installing in multiple lifts, continue filling the block out to the desired depth, then finish. Silspec 2000 can be installed at temperatures below 40 degrees when needed. The addition of the Silspec Hotshot is added to the kit to aid in curing at an acceptable rate in cold conditions. The Silspec 2000 components should be preconditioned to 65 degrees to ensure proper cure rate. The dosage rate is one can per kit. The Hotshot additive is also available to be pre-added at the manufacturing plant. Allow the mortar to cure the proper time before continuing installation. Once the mortar has hardened, the form can be removed and the installer can proceed with the installation of the joint seal. With sufficient time for the mortar to harden, the work can begin to prepare the joint for the seal system. Cut the foam form away from the joint faces and remove. Using an angle grinder with a diamond cup wheel, grind a 3 8 by 3 8 bevel on the joint face. After grinding, the joint is sandblasted to remove the residual forming material. Blow the joint to remove debris from the blasting operation. The joint is now ready to install the system specified for the joint. With proper preparation and planning of the installation, Silspec 2000 can be installed in many cases between rush hours. As with any product used in construction, the installer should always familiarize themselves with the proper use, handling, and storage of materials. Product instructions, data, and safety data sheets are available for download. Contact Silicone Specialties, Inc. for specific needs. This product is available through a network of trained distributors and SSI. Please contact us for your specific needs.